special day for you in yes. um, more ways than one. Yes, it is. It's very special. I want to ask you when you know Sutta Bazi came to you. It's a very '90s term, you know, because in '90s you used to say Sutta Bazi words like these. Yes. You can ask your mom that. So, what was it about this particular film, and did you always want to be an actor? Because you seem like a born star. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, so, to answer the first part of your question, yeah. um, Sutta Bazi. came to me very suddenly okay very suddenly um i was not expecting it at all huh. so kabir who is the director we've been school friends for years and then we lost touch okay and then suddenly you know we got in touch again because of his previous film hang out and mm-hmm. i had no idea what he was doing because you know we were not everyday friends Hmm. so when he sent the script to me first it was very surprising like really he wants me to act because i'm i've not been to a acting school or you know i've done school theater and plays yeah. so this was like a responsibility because it's like a it's a serious job yeah. you know so yes that came as a surprise what why i wanted to do the film yeah was because diya mehta uh is very relatable and minus the smoking she's a lot like me you know because i have my friends telling me that when we watched the trailer it was like you've been diya your whole life and it's true she's like all of us teenagers you know all of us teenage girls and boys so it was not very difficult to play her she is a very relatable character you know and did i always want to be an actor yes wow i've been really lucky that uh well we all know that i have a single mom yes. and i used to go on sets with her uh ever since i was 6 months old i can't say i want to be an actor ever since i was 6 months because that is very unrealistic mm-hmm. but uh when i started Go, when i went and saw you know her perform uh, on the sets of mehuna mm-hmm. and maine pyar kyun kiya i really enjoyed it you know the whole song and dance and everything i really liked it and that is when i realized that yes this is what i want to do uh, mom has one condition actually two a graduation b do everything on your own so right now i am trying to do both So let's see how it goes. But yes, I have always, always, always wanted to be an actor. And that's so your mom do everything on your own because she's such a self-made person. You yeah. know, and she's done it all on her own. I guess she doesn't can't see anything else otherwise. But you know, I actually say your mom walks her talk. But when was the first time when you told her I want to be an actor? What was her reaction? Go for it. What's your game plan? Yeah. like okay but how are you going to do it wow so she has been no i honestly i'm i'm so lucky uh, because for parents to you know be encouraging is one thing but to actually push you to get where you want to be is another thing like my mom there were days when i used to cry and be like no nothing is happening she like crying to me is not going to help what are you doing about it? so for her everything is what are you doing about you know she's always said that do everything with imandari so i'm trying here <laughs> to be as honest as i can you know and that's what you to me about your character because when i put on the trailer i yes. was like whoa this cannot be her first thing you're just like really sitting at Thank home you. talking to her parents like हाँ मुझे इंस्टाग्राम लाइव करना है इंस्टा लाइव के लिए नीचे कौन पहनता है यू नो दिस कुड बी एनी टीनेजर आई वाज अ टीनेजर सम थर्टी ऑड इयर्स अगो बट दे से द डेकेड्स चेंज बट द टीनेजर्स एटीट्यूड डज नॉट चेंज सो आई एक्चुअली एंड एक्चुअली सेट दैट टू सिमरन एज वेल आई से शी इज जस्ट लाइक फैंटास्टिक सो एंड इज इट फील्स नाइस दैट योर ट्रेलर्स कम आउट ऑन योर मम्स बर्थडे इट फील स्पेशल इट्स रियली स्पेशल 
and i just hope that you know it's upwards from here i hope so she is very happy i couldn't be happier but you know uh, how it became so natural is because of i prepared well you know i i didn't just land up on set i had an audition like everyone else uh, i had workshops with my teacher pratik sir um i would get yelled at and i loved it because i was like i'm not stopping till i get dia right like the reaction everyone is having is because of the work i put in before i would be up doing my lines i would speak like her try to you know just pick up her mannerisms so that's i think because i prepared well is because is the you know the fruit of this reaction i'm sure so how would you describe vinny a green yeah, yeah. What, renee renee hey renee, 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 renee. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yes. How would you describe Renee? Uh, slash Dia. <clears throat> how would I describe Renee? Slash. Yeah. How who, who? How would you do? If okay, fine. If I was to ask you, describe yourself in say five words. Well, how would you describe yourself? Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> very good question i've never thought of this she i can be super confident very comfortable in her skin say it is like i've given you three <laughs> okay so i'll take your three uh, confident uh, funny i'm funny uh, i'm very naughty <laughs> thanks mom I'm yeah so confident funny naughty uh, loving thanks love <laughs> and i'm a clown i'm a joker like i'm very like yeah you know when i spoke to your mom she said that she is the clown at home so it is you actually not her we take turns <laughs> based on the day we take turns <laughs> wow so i mean playing dia what was it like how would you describe see as i told you i was a teenager yes was ago yes. what are teens like today what do they want and i, I know agree. parents don't remain the same they don't change very good question what are yeah um so dia and like every other teenager and somewhere me too you know sometimes teenagers this uh in our generation especially we are constantly looking for validation mm. that is what dia taught me also mm. dia's character uh i can't tell you a lot about the film i'm waiting to watch it i know i'm so excited also but she dia actually uh taught me important things uh like we're always looking for validation at least our generation um how many likes we have we are not i'll be honest about myself i am that way too we need to live life in reality and not through a phone which i feel like our parents know best you know they actually live in the moment you know for us it's a oh, food is here we're taking a picture of the food it's cold and then we're eating it i'll be honest i do that you know i try to now yeah so teenagers our age are looking for validation which is why there's a lot of angst mm-hmm. i'd say bit around all of us you know it's difficult to find that balance as to what is real and what is not i think we're all trying to see that balance i think that's happening with a whole lot of us but tell me honestly what was the reaction of mom grandparents sister when they saw the trailer what was the reaction and who reacted funnily who was like oh. so you can like you know depending on my facial expression yeah. like, oh, oh. <laughs> so mom was like Yee! you know we did it we're doing it it's so excited roman uncle is uh 
he's very loving but yeah. he has a different way of showing his appreciation he's taking it slow you know oh. because we are also over excited he is the calm cool collected cucumber in the family so he's like i'm very proud of you well done keep going you know i'm just like okay he said that that means great you know <laughs> so he's very calm and composed uh my younger sister i have two sisters alia and alisa yeah. so alia uh, who is older than alisa is like she sent me a line from the trailer till i didn't realize she like didi get a life i'm like what she like no you said that in the trailer i'm so excited so she's really excited uh alisa is soaking it all in you know suddenly didi is an actor uh so but she is very very supportive in her own way you know she'll come she'll give me advice didi you know you should do this and you should do that and you know she is very supportive my grandparents they are super excited also you know they're really looking forward to this so yeah it's there's a lot of love and a lot of support and i'm so happy you are amazing and you deserve it all yeah so now i'm going to ask you since it's a mama's birthday which is the one thing that you've learned from her one thing you wish she did and the one thing you wish she didn't daughters are the best people to answer these questions about moms what have i learned from her yeah. i've learned a lot like even before this interview i was you know being advised you know so there's constant learning also you know as i'm growing and as i've started working and you know i'm also studying i'm in my last year all the advice she gave me through the years i told her also finally makes sense you know because you're giving me advice uh, let's say at the age of 16 for my life ahead at that time it's yeah yeah okay great advice but now i'm using it you know it all makes sense yeah. so i'm learning from her every day what i wish she did and what she didn't <laughs> is she a tiger mom tiger mom like I, mom who wants perfection you should do this you know no she's just no she's she's actually very chilled out in a wow. way i think sushmita sen is be all no, all she wants is just be honest just that it's really easy like you know to make her happy it's very easy you just have to be honest wow. but uh i don't know yeah she's what should she do i don't know she's too perfect i don't know what to say oh, i just love it you are the perfect daughter no yeah, no i'm trying honestly <laughs> but what she didn't do that also i don't know <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine. Right. It's just an honest answer. Yeah, I don't know. That's right. So, what was it like on the set, Rene? Like, I mean, you've been going on set with your mom. It's yes, crazy. that is different. I mean, that was like craziness. And here you are on set with the camera on you. Yes. Which was that one freeze moment you had? And when did you like were like, I've got this. Okay, so when I used to go on set with mom, mm. like you said it's a very different experience for me and yeah. my sibling, you know, because we are very, very well looked after, and you know, through everything, mom makes sure that we're comfortable and everything's going fine. Being in front of the camera is a whole new experience. Uh, I'm somebody who loves the camera. I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh. <laughs> I won't lie here. I do. um i think i was a nervous in the good sense because i wanted to do really well um i don't i don't mean to boast but i felt like i had it all along and i had you know i was calm and collected i knew i could do it from the time i got on set that is only because i prepared well you know what and what kind of preps did you read about did you like notice people did you observe people did you watch any film i mean what was that kind of prep that you actually put in um no i did not watch any film hmm. i sort of went back to me when i was 18 19 
Mm. I prep mostly was workshop with Pratik sir. So he used to give me the lines and I had to do it in six different ways. Wow. You know, so that is when I would, preparation time actually took, you know, all my energy and, you know, a lot of brainstorming on all sides. My parents, oh my God, Komal Ma'am and Rahul sir, they are the best, you know. What you also, they are also very important to this film. It's not just my debut, but the entire dynamics of this with, you know, my relationship with my parents. It's so real. It's so real. I'm shocked looking at it. So the first time we did the reading with them, uh, three of us together and Kabir and Pratik sir, it was just flowing. And in fact, when I did the reading with them, that is when I knew that, okay, this film is going to be good because the chemistry and the easiness that we all shared and still share, you know, we're like a family now, you know? Sure. And first films are always very special. Yeah. And we also took the prep outside the workshop, mm -hmm. you know, because Komal ma'am is, uh, a method actor, she gave me a lot of tips, you know, and I still call her ma. She's like ma only, she's actually very mummy mummy. <laughs> so yeah, so we would be in touch, we talk, how's your day, what are you doing, are you doing the scenes, have you eaten, just basic things to for not only because we genuinely are fond of each other, but because we know that will translate on screen, you know. Yeah. Um, I did body exercises with Komal ma'am just looking into her eyes and I, we could all see the difference before the bonding exercise scene and after, you know, and it would be funny because we're supposed to, you know, if you've seen the trailer, we're fighting, Yeah. but between takes, we're just laughing. We're like, how do we get angry at each other? Oh. Then, you know, we'd be like, let's bond, let's bond, let's get serious. No, we have to finish this. So yes, that is how the preparation was. It was very easy going, but it was hard work. Lots of hard work. <laughs> and nothing uh, succeeds like hard work, which we can see. And lovely speaking to you. So we can say that Thank the book has been rolling. So the Sen household has another star. A star is born. I hope so. <laughs> Less time, but I hope so. Looking Thank forward you. to it. Looking forward to Renee. All, Renee, all yes. the very Thank best. Thank you. All the very best. I'm sure you made your mom very proud. I hope so. Of course you are. Thank you. All the very best, my dear. Thank you.